Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your Android device in order to use motion controls in CMU Emulator. Anything and everything you need for this setup guide will be linked in the description of this video. Let's quickly get this guide started. I'm going to be showing you how to install this on my fairly average LG G3. First of all, you want to download and install this app called Sensor Kinetics. You can easily find this on the Google Play Store. When you open this app, it will tell you if your phone has a gyroscope. As you can see, mine does, however, if your phone does not have a gyroscope, it will attempt to use a combination of the accelerometer and the magnetometer to emulate exactly what the gyroscope will be doing. After you have done this, you want to come into the settings of your phone, come to the security settings on your phone, and you now want to toggle the ability for your phone to install apps that come from places other than the Play Store. Once you have done this, you want to download the actual motion source app we're going to be using. You can find yours down in the description of this video. I've already downloaded mine, I'm just going to hit install. We now need to wait for this application to fully install. Once it is installed, I'm simply going to open it. Now that this app is opened, this is what you are going to be given on screen. These are the options for motion orientation of your phone, and as you can see, these are the different ports that we can use. I'm simply going to select this one right here. Once you have selected your IP, you simply need to click this server button in order to enable communication with the server. Let's jump straight across to my desktop and continue with this setup. Please keep in mind that you are going to need to keep this app open and your phone at hand as you will require these port and IP addresses for the rest of this setup. The next thing you want to do is download PadTest. You can find this in the description of this video. I'm simply going to extract it to a folder of its own. Next, bring this to the center of your screen and you can move your zip file away for now. Next, you want to actually launch this PadTest.exe. Once the application opens, you want to enter the IP address that appears on your phone into this field right here. For me, it is 192.168.0.2. You also want to make sure that the port is the same as displayed on your phone. Next, you want to hit this start button right here. Once you do, it should show DSU1 and a port address. Simply double click on this and you should now have motion controls appear on screen. As you can see, I am moving my phone in a circular motion and the pad is also moving on screen. Now this application is more so a test just to make sure that the server is working correctly. Once you are happy that your computer is receiving motion telemetry, you can close this application and then you want to open CMU itself. In order for CMU to receive motion telemetry, you need to have CMU hook installed. If you do not have DBG help DLL and Keystone DLL, please install them, they will also be linked in the description. Next, load up CMU, come to options and come to gamepad motion source. You want to set this to DSU by slot. Next, you want to come back to your CMU folder and open up this cmuhook.ini. In the input section where it says motion source DS1, you want to leave a space and then you want to enter server IP equals. After this, you want to enter the same IP address, so 192.168.0.2 is the IP address my phone has given me. Once you are happy all your settings are correct, click file, save, and then close this document. We are basically now done, all you need to do is close the CMU application you currently have open, and then reopen it. Once it has reopened, come to options, gamepad motion source, and make sure that it is still connected by slot. Let's now load into game and make sure that everything is working correctly. So here we are loaded into the Hateno Village Shrine. As you can see, I am actually using mouse and keyboard controls. When I enter this motion puzzle, you can clearly see that my phone is being picked up as the motion source device and it is perfectly detecting all of the motions that I make. So there you go guys, a full and complete setup guide for using motion controls on your Android phone. Once again, cheers for checking out the video. Remember to like it if you liked it dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.